Hey guys, this is uh, Tech Isaac from Robot Studio. I thought I'd update you on what I've been doing with my surface detection for my long-term project of uh, tree generation, if, if you like, on the train. The thing I've been trying to work out is exactly what you see here. It's detecting what the face of the surface is like. And until recently, I did not know how to do this. And as you can see, as I'm moving this part, it's actually updating the C-frame of this other part to the uh, orientation of the terrain. So the the uh, the code is as follows: it's using a fine part on ray because I'm casting a ray uh, directly down from the part that we're controlling until it hits something. It doesn't have to be a terrain. Let's actually put a, a brick there. And just to be a little bit more uh, interesting, let's put a wedge part there. So we should see, if I've done my coding right, the part that it's casting should uh, rotate to this uh, this wedge if you like so let's move that over anchor these and then ping right play so a moment of truth let's see if I've got my coding right there you go going up the, the wedge and it's even detecting that little lip there Brilliant. So the reason why I was trying to work this out is when I run my code from generating trees on a terrain, terrain even, put my teeth in. It uh, the last time I tried it, I had trees sort of growing out out of the side, sort of unrealistically. So. What was actually failing in that code was my train shape uh, detection. As you can see, it updates as soon as it finds a part underneath. So this was the bit that was actually failing me. I did not know how to do it until now. Yay me! <laughs> so. The way it works, as I say, using the fine part on ray, then that's returning the part of material that it's hitting, if there, if any. The hit normal, which I'm using to rotate the uh, the plate underneath the the part that we're moving. That was the green plate. So let's run it. Yeah, this thing here. So I'm orientating that to the uh, the shape of the terrain, if you like. And then the int, I've forgotten what that is. That might be the part it's... No, that's the hit position, I think. Yeah, there we go. Intersection of the point on the ray. So... If you cut, let's say, cast a beam between, uh, let's say, the computer to the wall, when you put your hand in, into that beam, that will return where your hand position or where it's cut the beam, basically. And of course, the part it's, itself, which is what I'm not actually using here. So the hit normal returns a value which is a, a vector 3 value of a magnitude of 1 and I'm making sure that that uh, that magnitude of that vector doesn't equal 0 otherwise it will bug out the script so um, if everything is 0 and otherwise nothing is found it will always return uh, a vector 3 with pointing upwards so that's basically what I'm doing there. 
And then all I'm doing then is casting a vector 3. What if you know your C framing? You to rotate a part to a C frame, you take the, uh, a vector 3 position and another vector 3 position where you take the point. The first one is where you place the part, and the second part is actually which way you want to make the uh, the C frame point to. So I'm taking the first part which is where the inter where it's intersecting the, the beam times a vector of one from the surface if you like and yeah so that's that so that's the first bit then we got the second bit which is the same again plus you hit normal which is where what the surface face is like and then all I'm doing then is just rotating that so it's flat against the, the, the terrain. If I actually take that out and then rerun the code, it will. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so that should be good. So it's just spawn it, there you go, on its side. It will still rotate, it's just uh, just really just formatting if you like. So yeah. So yeah, so I'm um, slowly but surely uh, sort of sorting it out, trying to get things working and that I think I'll just remove something there, I can't remember what what that was. <laughs> so I'm still sort of working on that long-term project other than the uh, the space game thing that I'm thinking about making. Did I break anything? Nope, we go. So the one thing that is still stopping me from actually producing that uh, cinematic is I guess confidence really to be able to make out make something uh, look good <laughs> anyway I thought I'd update you on I guess uh, surface direct detection and maybe a tree grower thing I may eventually work this into that uh, that long term project thing anyway this has been Tigaz in Roblox Studio on my surface detection thingy and I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out.